When I was a little boy growing up in Liverpool in the 1960s, I didn't want to be a hat maker. I wanted to be an astronaut. And one of the things that I did was I studied all about the galaxies and meteorites and everything like that. Basically, the hat that I created contains the precious and semi-precious stones which are found in the Ural Mountains and they're in the meteorite. So it's an allegory. Eva contacted me as she wanted to create a selection of London milliners that were inspired by the, the huge, great tradition of uh, Russian ballet. There's a great list of uh, uh, names attached to the project, from the sort of auctioneering house to the Russian ballet to her to the other milliners, the photographers, the book involved. So the whole thing was very exciting. I just had a look at quite a few images and finding beautiful fabrics that had lots of pearls and beading and feathers and kind of really reflected the ballet itself. I designed the hat based on the Russian headdress, the Kokoshnik, and the colours red and orange represent the flames from the firebird, from the ballet. We came up with this uh, red taffeta pill box with red tutu shoe and ballet shoes which have been embroidered in uh, red and gold and black. The hat that I ended up making was a very large ivory and gold hat which stands very proud off the head. When I make a hat it's never really just a hat, it's a whole project. First thing to do is you have to become almost friendly with the person to understand them to develop the hat. And the hat is born out of that friendship. And of course, this was a fascinating project. So I got involved with it 1,000%.